these birds are just so uh, unique and wonderful. Uh, the way the males display, it's just awesome to watch. Yeah, God was feeling very flamboyant when he came up with the prairie chicken's means of reproduction. Now some of this right here dub looks pretty good. Nice. For, the, for the prairie chickens? Yeah. See, and it goes all the way around the ridge over there. Which is excellent. Correct. It may look like Jeff Bonner and Dub Jester are just sightseeing here in the Texas Panhandle. But they're here for a reason. They're looking for Lex. And that's the windmill over, over there where we turned by, the one on the horizon, where the lake is just over the hill? Yeah. A lek is the breeding ground for the lesser prairie chicken. It's where the males gather to strut their stuff hopes of finding a mate. Finding the Lex is key to finding what few birds live here on this Panhandle Ranch. This is pretty well looking chicken stuff here. The Martinez Ranch is a working cattle ranch. The grazing contractor is Jay O'Brien from Amarillo, and uh, I manage the wildlife program. The entire ranch consists of about 7,500 acres, and it's uh, very diversified terrain. We have a real good population of the Rio Grande turkey that, that winter roost here, and we also have lots of uh, white-tailed deer. There is also a small population of lesser prairie chickens on the ranch, and that's why Jeff Bonner is here. But well, this is the kind of stuff that they love, man. Jeff is a wildlife biologist with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. He's here at Dub's request to give him advice on how to better manage the land for lesser prairie chickens. Uh, here in Donnelly County, they're pretty sparse, and it's pretty much relative to the quality of the habitat that they have. Three kinds of prairie chickens once occurred in Texas, but populations of all three have declined drastically in the last century. The greater prairie chicken once roamed from the Blackland Prairie, northward through the Great Plains and into Canada. Today, they're found only in a patchwork of prairie states. Texas is not one of them. The range of the lesser prairie chicken is also significantly smaller than it once was. In Texas, small pockets of birds are found only in the northeastern corner of the Panhandle and west of Lubbock, along the New Mexico border. The best known of the prairie chickens is the Atwaters. Found only in Texas, these birds once inhabited six million acres of coastal prairie. Prior to the 20th century, the population may have been close to one million birds. Today, that population is close to extinction. This is a slow process of two things. Direct loss of habitat due to conversion of, of native prairies and degradation of native habitats. So it's not a question of, of there not being enough open space lands, but it's current land use. Located 60 miles due east of Amarillo, the Martinez Ranch is typical of much of the Panhandle landscape. It's operated primarily as a cattle ranch, but the grazing habitat is also ideal wildlife habitat. Well-managed ranches that are properly stocked and uh, managed well generally have very good wildlife habitat. In fact, they're some of our very best examples of good wildlife habitat across the country. I don't think you'll find a cattleman who's not very interested in the overall ecology of his ranch. And that includes wildlife. Of course, grass is our major concern because it's what cattle convert into feed. I don't know a rancher who's not interested in helping wildlife and improving wildlife habitat on his ranch as long as they see that nobody's going to be dictating exactly how they should do their business. Chickens are relatively intolerant of tall vertical structures. Uh, once you get brush encroachment of relatively tall brush, they'll tend to leave an area. Raising awareness about the declining state of the lesser prairie chicken is the first step towards reversing that trend. With that in mind, the Martinez Ranch hosted a field day 
to bring panhandle landowners together with conservation professionals. So with your grazing management or your fire program, we have to let people know that there is a problem, but that we don't have all the answers and that we truly do need the help and cooperation of landowners to be willing to participate with us and try some things and let us improve our understanding of what we think less prairie chickens need. Texas A&M graduate student Eddie Lyons is studying lesser prairie chickens in Yoakum County, southwest of Lubbock. We're trapping them, fitting them with radio transmitters so we can monitor their movements and locations. That's where he is right now. We want to study their nest success, survival, mortalities, what kills them when they're killed by predators. And we're also looking at their habitat use. Eddie has been granted unrestricted access to 12,000 acres of sandy, brushy land, most of it leased by the June Leland Wildlife Foundation. We're looking for a bird that uh, has died. The signal was given a mortality signal. And so when we hear the mortality signals, we walk in, locate the collar, and retrieve it. We have very little public land in, in the Panhandle. The work that we're doing here couldn't get done, wouldn't be done, without the cooperation of the landowners. And here's the remains of a bird. We have the wings present, but not just a pile of feathers. So I would say this is probably a raptor kill. The collar is around here, right here. One more bird gone, but that's part of it. Lesser prairie chickens, like many other species, have not been disappearing all on their own. They've had a lot of help. Destroying the habitat is easy. Fixing it, well, that's another story. But if we can find more people who view the prairie chickens as something worth saving, Perhaps there is a glimmer of hope after all. The habitat is in the hands of private landowners, then really the future of the prey chicken is really in the hands of those landowners, and it's really up to them. And so I love getting those calls of people calling with interest in prey chickens. I've developed a passion for the chickens in, in the fact that they're such an interesting bird. We don't know that they might become extinct, and. Uh, it's important that we do all we can to protect the birds right now.